Well, hey, everybody, welcome to the market update for Southern Oregon for the week ending April 15th, 2023. Jackson County, a uh, year to year average price is 505000 That's from April 2022 to April 2023. That's up 3% for Jackson County, but the number of properties sold, and again, this is residential, number of properties sold year to year in Jackson County is down 26%, and the number of listings are down 18%. So I think that's pretty respectable that you can have a 26% decline in uh, number of properties sold and 18% uh, decline number of listings in Jackson County and still hold a 3% bump in prices. Now, as promised, we're tracking our short sales and foreclosures. We had zero short sale closings this week and zero foreclosure uh, closings this week. And let's start adding in tracking of the million dollar properties. So we had zero million dollar properties closed this week, but we've got two in the last 30 days in Jackson County. Josephine County is also holding their own, but slightly different numbers. The year-to-year uh, -year prices in Josephine County are 455000 That's a 0% increase. So that means it's exactly the same as it was last April. But check this out. There's a 20% decline in the number of properties sold year-to-year in Josephine County and an 11% decline in number of listings in Josephine County year to year. So again, I'm thinking that's pretty respectable, even though we don't have a price increase or decline, they're still absorbing a minus 20% in number of properties sold and a minus 11% in number of listings in Josephine County. Let's get to our short sales and foreclosures. Uh, this week in Josephine County, we had zero foreclosures closed and zero short sales closed. Uh, let's do our million dollar property. That's zero million dollar properties closed in Josephine County this week. But it'll be fun to start tracking the million dollar properties uh, against the foreclosure and short sales uh, for the rest of the year. Now, Klamath Falls, our year to year prices are averaging $325,000, and that is a 7% increase year to year. So good for you, Klamath Falls. It's becoming very popular up there. Now, uh, that 7% bump up is still with a minus 25% in the number of residential properties sold and a minus 16% in the number of listings. Uh, short sales uh, this week, we had zero closed in Klamath Falls. Foreclosures, we had zero closed in Klamath Falls this week. And our million dollar properties, we had zero, zero closed. But again, it'll be fun to track. So that is our market update for Southern Oregon, Jackson, Josephine, and Klamath Falls. I'm Alice Lima. I'm a broker at John L. Scott here in beautiful Southern Oregon. I am a great listing agent, great buyer's agent, great with investments, first timers, downsizers, uh, real property, um, riverfront, um, real estate's my bag. Would love to help you with your next real estate step. So please give me a call. Give me a text 541-301-7980. You can also check out everything for sale in Southern Oregon on my website, alicelima.com. And also tune into our radio show. We have a real estate radio show every week on KCMX uh, FM 99.5. Uh, it's Saturday at 10, Sunday at six. And you can also see it on YouTube. So uh, there you go. We'll see you next week.